Breaking Death Stranding news, people. It appears that Death Stranding may be getting a release date sooner rather than later, and it looks like it might be even sooner than we all anticipated. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? Hey, look, it's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Can you do me a huge favor? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. All right, now let's get into it. A series of late breaking things have happened, and it appears that a Death Stranding release date is going to be given today at a state of play, all right? This is May 29th, 2019. And on top of that, it looks like that a Death Stranding release date has been leaked and some maybe sombering news about Last of Us 2 has been released simultaneously, but let's get into it. So I'm gonna kick it all off by reading you guys uh, this information per an article from Games Radar. The title reads, Death Stranding release date has leaked and it spells bad news for the Last of Us 2 fans. Death Stranding release date might be sooner than a lot of you think per the latest rumor. All right, and there's been an update posted since uh, this article was originally released. The update reads, a since deleted post from PlayStation Taiwan has confirmed that the Death Stranding release date is indeed November 8th, 2019. Now we just need to wait for the announcement from Kojima himself. The article continues to read, happy Death Stranding day, thanks to the confirmation from Kojima. Alongside the mysterious Death Stranding teaser currently looping on Twitch, we know that Sony and Kojima Productions are gearing up to reveal a whole lot more about the upcoming PlayStation 4 game, which is also reportedly scheduled to release for the PlayStation 5, not in, in the too distant future. It's possible that along the new trailer, Kojima is going to announce a release date for his first game after Metal Gear Solid 5 and today's media blowout, but a not so cryptic tweet from Italian journalist Antonio Facito may have just leaked that information before the re official reveal. Fresito has a history of accurately leaking news ahead of time and recently offered more insight about the rumored new from software slash George R.R. Martin game, but it's still best to take the following tweet with a healthy hit of salt nonetheless. All right, now with that said, here's what your boy MM2K has been noticing on this Twitter fear, you know what I'm saying, and, and other social media outfits as far as this information leaking out. Now, as you can see here, your homeboy Nibble, and I might have uh, butchered that, my, my bad. Your homeboy Nibble that goes by at Nibelian on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be a big time uh, leaker, you know, inside source when it comes to gaming news on Reset Air and so forth. He said hashtag Death Stranding pre-order page is up on PlayStation Store. So he lit a lot of people, uh, uh, he made a lot of people aware that that information was now up all of a sudden. And then a follow up to that tweet, he put together that same Italian uh, report that was spoke of in the game's radar uh, publication that I just read. He put up that original tweet and he also put up some other information um, from the Taiwanese uh, tweet that was deleted as well. And his tweet on both of those um, pieces of information was a different screen cap showing the same message. Also Italian journalist Antonio Facito dropped the same date yesterday, Death Stranding, and that date is November 8th, 2019. And last but not least, you have homeboy Jason Schreier jumping in on the news. He says in a tweet, responding to what Nibble tw uh, tweeted, looks like Death Stranding is about to get announced for a November release. The Last of Us 2 was also planned for fall 2019, but I actually just heard it got bumped to early 2020, possibly February. Either way, wild final year for PlayStation 4. So for an all intents and purposes, it looks like that we got some, some firm confirmation here, even though these are just rumors, we got some firm confirmation that A, a Death Stranding release date is going to be released pretty soon, um, around the time of this recording, around May 29th in a um, PlayStation State of Play, and also that release date is going to be made for a 2019 date, most likely November 8th. So what does your boy MM2K think about all that? I personally think that even though I may not be the biggest PlayStation enthusiast or PlayStation enthusiast at all, I think that that releasing it would be a big deal for PlayStation gamers and a lot of gamers that are fans of Kojima's work. However, your boy got his doubts. 
Now you can screen cap this or record this or whatever. This is just my prediction. I'm not saying this is true by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just going off a of gut feeling. I don't think Death Stranding is releasing in 2019, people. I think that this is a placeholder date to try to squelch all of the negative news and all the negative press that Sony has been receiving as of late. That news includes them um, canceling all of the fanfare shows going all the way back to PSX and the Paris Game Show and, and not showing up at E3 to a lot of the stuff that you've heard going on earlier in the year, the days gone, not getting so favorable scores as, as a lot of people anticipated. And now this whole joint venture with Microsoft as far as looking into cloud gaming and stuff like that, it got a lot of PlayStation fans brought up. And Sony in very sly but effective marketing fashion, what they like to do is they'll plant information out there whenever they get bad press, right? Like remember the whole Destiny um, cross play or cross progression thing that came out there in the news early 2019 and that was starting to hammer Sony real bad and put them in a real bad light. Then all of a sudden they dropped PlayStation 5 specs and so on and so on. I think this is another attempt at that. And I can go on and on about this, but I'm not going to be too drawn out or seem like a Debbie Downer. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to say this again. If I was a betting man, I would put my money on it being just a, a placeholder date for 2019. And it actually not released until 2020. Um, 2020 is going to be a stellar year, even at that for PlayStation. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a lot to digest. I've talked about, you know, 2019 and all the things that have led up to it. So it's an interesting year, a lot of interesting developments, and a lot of interesting news coming out of this year. But you know what? Hey, again, it's just my thoughts, just a rumor. With that being said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Like I always tell y'all, y'all can come with me or come at me. It don't matter to your boy. But if you did like what you heard from your boy, you know what I'm saying? You can catch me on the corner every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Dirk Griggity, Neethal, Snow Bunny. It's called Scram Punks. We do it every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check us out on Dirk Griggity's channel or just look up hashtag Scram Punks for more information. And yo, big ups to my peoples, the broadband bullies. You know what I'm saying? We doing the damn thing. Check out that Discord link. Check out that Patreon link. Check out that link to that gear is fly. And as always, you have a wonderful gaming day.